Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Vigilante for the TurboGrafx-16. I was searching on YouTube the other day, and I was shocked to find out that no one has done a Let's Play of this great game. Hell with it. I'll be the first one to LP this great classic arcade game. So with that said, let's get started. The skinheads have taken Madonna hostage. Take the power into your own hands. This game was made by the same company that made Kung Fu for the NES, Irene. And it plays a lot like Kung Fu for the NES. So if you like Kung Fu, then you will enjoy this title as well. These generic enemies that you see a lot of, they're called Stranglers. Come get you some, Stranglers. I will whoop your ass with my nunchucks. This enemy is called a Red Mohawk, and he takes four hits to destroy. This guy with a gun, his name is Hitman Joe, and he also takes four hits to beat up. Now we are approaching our first boss, but first we have to beat up an enemy named Crowbar before we can fight the first boss named Axe. And the strategy is very simple against the axe. Just keep swinging your nunchucks until he goes down. I do know this takes a while because he does regenerate some health. I could have easily slid the turbo switch up to turbo since I am playing on a TurboGrafx-16, but I chose to hit the button anyway. All right, any day now. And after what seemed like about a hundred hits, he finally goes down. The van is carrying Madonna to their turf. The junkyard. Well then, I guess I'll have to go to the junkyard and kick some ass. Come get you some, crowbar. How you like these nunchucks upside the face? That is one cool thing about this game. If you end a stage with your nunchucks, they'll carry over to the next stage, unlike most classic games back in the day. Run away, chicken shits. Now we will face the second boss. Our boss is. Their names are the Tough Brothers. Oh, they're so tough. The strategy I use against these guys is stand right in this spot and kneel down. They shouldn't be able to hit you unless they do a cheap shot like that. Now just wait for them to jump over you and give them a couple punches to the nuts. I just love punching people in the nuts in video games. Oh, you bastard, you and your cheap shots. Oh, another cheap shot, you assholes. What the hell was that shit?
There we go. We killed one of them. And we defeated both of them. The van is headed for the bridge. Her time is running out. Alright, I guess we go to the bridge and kick some more ass. This guy's name is Hell's Angel, and look at that. With one hit, he took over half of my hit points. I better not get hit again by these guys, or I'll be dead. Oh yeah, some nunchucks. Think of that, bitches. You want some of this red mohawk? Bam, take that. And now we are approaching the third boss, Spike Boss. Oh, how original is that? Hit him once to knock his spike ball out of his hands. Then we can just nunchuck him to death. Oh, he knocked my nunchucks out, that bastard. All right, since we lost our nunchucks, I guess we'll have to beat him by kicking him and jump kicking him. Just keep repeating this until he's defeated. There we go, we defeated Spike Boss, and we got an extra life. You still have not rescued her. The skinheads are heading downtown. Alright, I guess we'll have to go downtown and kick some ass. Ooh, a new enemy. His name is Dirty Jack, and he takes four hits to kill. Oh, you came back for more, Dirty Jack. Take that. And it's another new enemy, and he's an asshole. His name is Chain Gang. He also takes four hits to kill. Get the hell off of me. Quit hugging me. Ah, Chain Gang and Crowbar are trying to double team me. I don't think so, punks. Oh yeah, nunchucks. Did you just see that? He committed suicide. Now we will face the fourth boss, Skinhead. Watch out for the dynamite he throws at you right at the beginning. And just keep jumping and using your nunchucks against him. Uh, but eventually he'll drop down to ground level. When he drops down, continue using your nunchucks against him. If you do not have nunchucks, then use kicks and jump kicks, just like you used against Spike Boss. Damn, he just went ballistic on my ass. I guess he didn't like the nunchucks to the face that much. And down goes the racist skinhead douchebag. Now they are on your turf. This is your last chance to save Madonna. Alright, so we've reached the final level. Now we're going to have to kick some ass on this level. Watch out for the stranglers below. These assholes will grab your ankles and they will take damage off of you. Just like that. Oh yeah, nunchuck time. And now we are approaching the final boss. Oh shit! 
Hang on. Oh, good. This asshole's name is Big Boss. Ooh, that's really original. The strategy you want to use against him is mainly jump kicks, but when you die and turn invincible for a while, go in and punch him in the nuts as many times as you can. His uh, uh, and oh, come on. Those get so annoying. Yeah, how you like these nut punches, big boss? Oh, I hate when he grabs you by the neck and punches you. And if you look to your right just off the screen, you can see Madonna hanging there. This boss is no pushover. He is a tough son of a bitch. Nut punches for the win! Another reason this guy is so damn hard is that he regenerates some of his health. One more jump kick ought to do it. There we go, and that's how you beat Vigilante for the TurboGrafx-16. Give me some sugar, baby. Way to go, dude. You saved Madonna. Law and order failed. But the Vigilante prevailed. The Vigilante rules the city. This is a great game. I remember playing it many times as a kid. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Vigilante for the TurboGrafx-16. I hope you've enjoyed it. I want to thank you again for watching and thanks for the support.